There are times when calculating the right fertiliser blend becomes an arduous task. With the six easy steps for nutrient recommendation, finding the most appropriate fertiliser blend has never been easier. Third Finder has been developed to display a list of products that closely matches the crop's requirements based on six easy steps. This cane clip will demonstrate how Third Finder works and how to use it. When you open up Third Finder for the first time, you'll notice a yellow bar towards the top of the screen that says security warning, macros have been disabled. You'll need to click the enable content button in this yellow bar. Enabling the content will allow the buttons within Third Finder to function and the tool to work properly. Once the enable content button has been clicked, another security warning will appear. There is no need to be alarmed, this is a safe document. By clicking the yes button on this warning, you won't have to do it the next time you open Third Finder. If you click no, you'll have to go through this process every time you open Third Finder. Now that the buttons are unlocked, we can have a look at the instructions page. On this page you'll see a detailed written instruction on how to use Third Finder and also a detailed instruction on how to find a product and calculate the rates the old fashioned way. Now that the calculator page of Third Finder is open, we can begin to see how it works and how to use it. You'll notice a button for each region near the top of the page. An orange line beneath the button indicates which region is selected. Selecting a region will display a list of available fertilizers for that area. In this case, the central region will be selected. Once the region has been selected, it is now time to insert the crop's nutrient requirements. Fert Finder only requires values for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and sulphur. If the crop requires a micronutrient, for example zinc, please talk with your fertilizer rep. They may be able to help make a custom blend based on the analysis of one of the products in Fert Finder. You'll notice by changing the nitrogen value, all blends will meet these N requirements and change the rates appropriately. This is because all rates within Fert Finder are based on N. You may also notice a number of fertilizers in the list that have an error in the rates and in the nutrients applied. This is because these fertilizers do not contain nitrogen and therefore cannot be shown in Fert Finder. If you wish to use one of these fertilizers, please use the information page to determine rates manually. The next step is to filter the list of fertilizers to find the blends that closely meet the requirements of the crop. To filter the list, the filter actual buttons will be used. Filtering by P will cut the list down to only those blends that meet the P requirements. The same happens when filtering by K and S. If you filter by all of the nutrients by clicking each of the three buttons, your list will display only fertilizers that meet the P, K and S requirements. By doing this, you will see a list of fertilizers that best suit your crop's requirements. Sometimes there may not be a fertilizer available that meets all of the requirements. In this case, try filtering only by P and K and then scroll through the list to see which fertilizer has sulfur closest to what you are seeking. To clear the filters, click the Clear All Filters button. This is located on the left hand side of the page. It is recommended that after downloading Fert Finder to your computer, close the program without saving to ensure that nothing has been changed accidentally. You can download Fert Finder from sugarresearch.com.au.